Was it a donation for a trash cleanup or a political event targeting immigration in the valley? Well, either way, it became a pressure point at a Cameron County Commissioner's meeting. Our Jeremiah Marshall explains why two sides are fighting over $15,000. Uh, we're, it looks like we're in a battle here for no reason. I just don't understand it. The founder of Great American Cleanup, John Wark, says he can't believe the actions of the Cameron County Commissioner's Court. He said they criticized the Precinct 1 Constable Norman Esquivel after officials, Border Patrol leaders, and volunteers who picked up about 10.6 tons of trash along the banks of the Rio Grande around the Fort Brown Memorial Golf Course in Brownsville. It was, you know, it was kind of uh, shocking to not have the judge out there, but the judge had a whole lot to say about what we did and how we did it and had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. I think this was a political event, Constable, and, and to put it under the guise of helping out or cleaning up uh, without getting other parties involved, it's very concerning to me. While Rourke says the cleanup efforts are not politically motivated, according to his We Fund the Blue Foundation social media page, the group says the mission is not to only clean up an area that is devastated by illegal immigration, but to shine a light on the failures of the Biden administration. He says it's now up to us to help clean up and take back America. And that's what's concerned Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino. Why didn't they do the event in Precinct 1? They, we know there was not as much trash. We there didn't no we, trash over there. There was, there was trash, but we didn't. No beach. The there's no beaches in Precinct that that, One. What's that, Judge? Are there beaches in Precinct One? There are beaches, yes, sir. Yeah, we usually we do beach cleanups all the time. Yeah, and I'm always a part of those as well, yeah. Judge. I understand I've upset some people by asking these questions, but I think it's incumbent upon me to ask those questions, regardless of who the individual is, whether they're uh, a member of one party or the other. Political is one thing. Uh, public. Uh, benefit is something else. Questions and concern from Judge Trevino include why not have support to all enforcement? Were county employees involved to even what will funds be used for? Constable Esquivel argues that politics has nothing to do with it. And so this year they chose the Southern Texas here in Cameron County and uh, I said I would gladly accept and help out in that in that those efforts. So I'm sorry you feel that it was, this is a politically inclined event. Oh, to me, come on. it was not. Constable, let, well, let's be honest. It's okay. Sure. Commissioner's motion to table what to do with the $15,000 donation Escovel's office received from Rook. You know what I mean? You know what? You go out anywhere and, and work at 107 degree temperatures, picking up other people's garbage. It's disgusting. It was hot. You know what I mean? And um, we didn't deserve what we got. For NBC 23 News in Cameron County, I'm Jeremiah Marshall. And county commissioners say they are waiting for a list of items on what Esquivel plans to do with the money. Once that list is made, uh, that will be discussed at a commissioner's meeting.